1 Samuel 16. And Yahuwah said unto Shemuel, How long wilt thou mourn for Shaul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Yasharel? Fill thine horn with oil, and go. I will send thee to Yishai, the Beit Halakmi, for I have provided me a king among his sons. And Shemuel said, How can I go? If Shaul hear it, he will kill me. And Yahuwah said, Take a heifer with thee, and say, I am come to sacrifice to Yahuwah, and call Yishai to the sacrifice, and I will show thee what thou shalt do, and thou shalt anoint unto me him whom I name unto thee. And Shemuel did that which Yahuwah spake, and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming, and said, Comest thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably. I am come to sacrifice unto Yahuwah. Sanctify yourselves, and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Yishai and his sons, and called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass, when they were come, that he looked on Eliav, and said, Surely Yahuwah's anointed is before him. But Yahuwah said unto Shemuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For Yahuwah seeth not as man seeth. For a man looketh on the outward appearance, but Yahuwah looketh on the heart. Then Yishai called Abinadav, and made him pass before Shemuel. And he said, Neither hath Yahuwah chosen this. Then Yishai made Shammah to pass by. And he said, Neither hath Yahuwah chosen this. Again, Yishai made seven of his sons to pass before Shemuel. And Shemuel said unto Yishai, Yahuwah hath not chosen these. And Shemuel said unto Yishai, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Shemuel said unto Yishai, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, and withal of a beautiful countenance, and goodly to look to. And Yahuwah said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Shemuel took the horn of oil, and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Ruach of Yahuwah came upon David from that day forward. So Shemuel rose up and went to Ramah. But the Ruach of Yahuwah departed from Shaul, and an evil Ruach from Yahuwah troubled him. And Shaul's servants said unto him, Behold now, an evil Ruach from Elohim troubleth thee. Let our Adonai now command thy servants, which are before thee, to seek out a man who is a cunning player on a harp. And it shall come to pass, when the evil Ruach from Elohim is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. And Shaul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well, and bring him to me. Then answered one of the servants, and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Yishai the Beit-Lachami, that is cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and Yahuwah is with him. Wherefore Shaul sent messengers unto Yishai, and said, Send me David thy son, which is with the sheep. And Yishai took a donkey laden with bread, and a bottle of wine, and a kid, and sent them by David his son unto Shaul. And David came to Shaul, and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor-bearer. So Shaul sent to Yishai, saying, Let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he hath found favor in my sight. And it came to pass, when the evil Ruach from Elohim was upon Shaul, that David took a harp and played with his hand. So Shaul was refreshed and was well, and the evil Ruach departed from him.